Hello. Du, 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 du. Shift day. Okay. Okay, now what did I just do here? I simply took one and subdivided it in order for, oh, and by the way, um, in order to make sure that the bone is on the right. <sighs> I can't talk. Anyways, um, in order to make sure that the bone is on the right orientation, you go Control R, uh, and then 90, and then there you go. Why did I, why didn't I extrude? Well, because it ruins the orientation. It's that simple. Please do it this way, because it's a lot better. And you'll notice that this finger has been extruded from this bone to this bone to this bone and look look at the orientations they're not even so I want to rotate oh no not not rotate control R then rotate uh, actually this bone control R 90 and now we have them in the right orientation except for this bone which we need to control R, rotate just a little bit, and there we go. That's what happens when you extrude. When you extrude, the orientation is not aligned up. That's why you get a lot of problems. And that's why it's helpful when you are, um, when you have your armature, that you go to axis so you can see the orientation of your bones. It's pretty important here. All right. Uh, so now, oops. So now, when I go to pose mode and I want to move this, I can move it, and it it won't go all over the place because the orientation is well done. <laughs>